today's lesson, we learn how to update the HDS software. The first thing we need to do is confirm which version of software we're running. Press the menu button twice, then cursor up to System. Then move all the way down to About at the bottom. Press Enter. You will then be presented with a screen that shows you the version of software you are running. The next step is to take an empty SD card and place it into your SD card reader attached to your computer. Now open up your web browser and navigate to lawrence.com. Once the web page loads, click on the downloads link in the navigation bar across the top. Then on the left, click on product software updates. You will then be presented with a list of the available updates. From this list, select your HDS unit. On the next screen, click on install this update from the web. You may then be prompted with a Java security certificate. Click yes to continue. The web application will then begin downloading files to complete the update. Please note, depending on the speed of your internet service provider or the traffic on the servers, this may take some time to complete. Once all of the files are downloaded from the server, the Lorance HDS update application will then launch. Click on the Next button to begin the install. You will then be prompted to select the drive that your SD card is located in. Click Next to continue. The Lorance HDS update software is now installing all of the files needed on the SD card to complete the update. Depending on the number of files, this can take several minutes to complete. Once the installation program has finished all of its tasks, you can click on the Finish button, which will then close the application window. You will then see on the web page, Installation Completed. The next step is to remove the SD card from your SD card reader that is attached to your computer, and then place it into your HDS unit with the power off. Now press the power button on the HDS unit to initialize and begin the HDS update process. Depending on the complexity of the software update, this can take several minutes to complete. A progress taskbar and detailed load information will be presented on the screen while the update runs. Once the update process is finished, you will then be prompted on the screen to remove all SD cards and press the power button to reboot the HDS unit. Once your HDS has restarted, we can confirm the software upgrade has taken place. Press the menu key twice, cursor up to System, and then all the way down to About, and press Enter. On the next screen, you will see the application version on the first line. 